Bye. Okay, so here we go. Got a reading lesson today. And we are going to be reading The Thing About Nathan. This story is about a girl named Hannah. <laughs> and she is tired of her younger brother, Nathan. So she trades him for her friend, Jerry's little brother, William, for a day. We're going to read to find out what happened. So before we read, we're going to go over some new vocabulary. We have the word seriously. Seriously. Can you say that with me? Seriously. Now, what do you think seriously means? Like, you are very serious in a certain way. It's a good guess. So, when you say serious or seriously, you are carefully thinking about something. You're very thoughtful. So, if you're serious, you are carefully thinking about something. You're like, hmm. Do I seriously want to do that right now? Hmm. Do I want to... Hmm. Thinking thoughtfully. Does that make sense? Mm, not really. Okay, let's try that again. So... Let me give you an example. Alright? We got some examples right here for you. Okay. So you're making a serious decision. You're considering something. Mm -hmm. You want to know if you can, if your parents are gonna allow you to go to the park by yourself. They're seriously considering, hmm, is that a good idea? Hmm, does, should he go by himself? I don't know. I gotta seriously think about that. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Can you give me an example? So I can example. Can you think of so, something? So, like me having to get a phone. Okay. Should he really get one? I don't know. I'm gonna seriously think about it. It's a good example. And why is that you using the word seriously? Why does that? Because they're because th my parents are thinking if I should get one or not. Yeah, and they're thinking, and is it just normal thinking? Like, oh, should I have a blue crayon or a red crayon? That's thinking, too. Mm -hmm. But now getting a phone, that's different, right? Yeah. And that is something that needs careful, careful. thinking. Because you think about... Like, I mean, do I need one? Do I want one? I don't really want one. Or, like, so there are so many options that you could, like, it, it, like, technically means there are so many options you could have. You don't know if you should or should not do it. Yeah, you consider it. the good things and the bad things that could happen. So you're seriously, carefully thinking about something. So that's one word that's going to be in our book today. Okay. So here you go. I'm going to have you start on page one, or page two, actually. I'm going to follow along in my book here. Okay. All right, so you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. My little brother drives me crazy, said Hannah. He is so messy. Nathan doesn't eat food. He wears and you wouldn't believe his room. Hannah rolled her eyes. It looks like a herd of cattle lives there. Does that sound right? Can you mm. read that sentence again? It looks like a herd of cattle lives there. Lives there, good. Okay. My brother is a neat freak, said Jerry. William puts all his stuff away on a shelf in his room with everything in a perfect order. Like the books in the library. And you'd better not touch anything. Good. 
I trade my messy brother for your neat one and any day, said Hannah. This Saturday, my parents are building a rock garden in the backyard. I'm supposed to keep Nathan busy. I know I'll go nuts. Let's try to read this paragraph again. Try to read it like someone's actually saying it to you. For example, I trade my messy brother for your neat one any day, said Hannah. So it's something like you would say. Let's try that paragraph again. I trade my messy brother for your neat one any day, said Hannah. Saturday, my parents are building a rock garden in the backyard. I'm supposed to keep Nathan busy. I know I'll go nuts. Continue. Can Nathan swim? Jerry asked. He swims like a fish, said Hannah. He could come with us on Saturday, Jerry su suggested. My family is going to the city pool. Let's try to break this word up. So can you cover? Sug. Sug. Good. S. Ed. Okay. Suggested. Suggested. Good. You broke it up. Alright, you can start from the beginning of the sentence. Jerry suggested. My family is going to the city pool. William doesn't really enjoy swimming. He'd rather stay home and work on his on his models. Models. Do you know what models means? Um it kinda like a sculpture of something. Yeah, you can use them um, you can build models out of little um figures together, and that's what the box is. If you take Nathan swimming, said Hannah, I'll ask my mom if William can come to our house. He can work on his models or do whatever he wants. It's a deal, shouted Jerry. Good. Now, what happened so far in the story? When the um, so, now? they're thinking about trading brothers for a day, so like... Jerry will have Hannah's brother, and Hannah will have Jerry's brother. Now, why do they want to trade? Because they don't like their brothers. Okay. Because Hannah, he's just like a slob and just puts everything, and Jerry is, and Jerry's brother is like, he just likes to work, and he likes to just, he's like a nerd. Can you show me that in the book? Where it says? Yeah. So show me what what is Hannah's brother he's, like? He's like um, he's like a herd of cattle. He's like a a herd of cattle. Like a herd of cattle lives there. Okay. And then Jerry's brother is like a neat freak. Okay. So he likes to be neat and be proper. Okay. Good. So there's we got some differences. Right, page six. Saturday morning, J Saturday morning, Jerry's parents picked up Nathan and dropped off William. Nathan ran off with just his swim swimsuit and flip flops. William brought a backpack bursting with stuff. Let's try something new. See, I see you've been pointing uh -huh. at your words, mm -hmm. and it is helping, but it's also making your words choppy, because you're sometimes going, Saturday morning, Jerry's parents picked up. Let's try using without your finger. So, like, Saturday morning, Jerry's parents picked up Nathan. Yeah, I think you can read it without your finger. Let's just try it with here, with okay. this paragraph, okay? okay? He brought a toothbrush and toothpaste. I always brush after I eat, he said. He brought a clean shirt. I might spill something on this one. And he brought two model kits and two videos. 
we have videos you can watch, said Hannah. I like my own. Thanks, said William. That's much better. You had, you were less choppy and you were more fluid as you were reading. You actually read a lot faster without your finger. So I don't think you need your finger anymore. I'll need a clean table, William declared. Hannah cleaned, cleared her dining room table. I need a chair with no arms, said William. Hannah got him a chair. Thank you, said William. He's a fussy little guy, Hannah thought, but at least he's polite. Okay, so now we're at the middle. I'm at the middle. So what has happened so far in the story? In the um, middle. In the middle, Hannah is with Hannah is with William, and she is actually she isn't liking it, and she actually wants to be with Nathan now. Why doesn't she like being with William? Because William is just, he's, he loves dinosaurs and she doesn't, and she like, and she doesn't really want, she doesn't really want to do dinosaurs. Is it the dinosaurs or is it something else? Can you think back? So what's the difference between her two brothers, remember? Uh, um, so William just wants to play with dinosaurs and do you remember what his brother said about him in the beginning? Oh yeah, um, William is like a neat freak. There you go. And Nathan is is like his room is like a cattle, a herd of cattle has. Came. So so if you have a neat, someone who's very neat, and someone who's very sloppy, sloppy. Okay, so in the beginning you have. What what's happening in the be in that sorry beginning the middle um that Hannah is getting Hannah's getting seriously sick of dinosaurs because he, is it dinosaurs she's sick of or of William William okay so Hannah and is she's sick of William and she's saying that um because um she's trying to ask him if he wants to go outside but he wants he's like no i want to watch my favorite show so what is something that you could write right here in the um, middle um that you can help that you remember that hannah is um she's hannah's seriously sick of william okay so what is a word that you could write um seriously sick sure Later, Jerry and his parents brought Nathan home and picked up William. Hannah was so glad to see Nathan that she gave him a giant bear hug. Hey, he said. Did you have a good time? Hannah asked. Just great, Nathan shouted. He jumped up, up, he jumped up and down while he described, described Let's try to break that word up. So, what can you do? You can cover. De de scur descur described. Good. Described his day. That's another thing about Nathan, Hannah thought. It was a thing she liked about him. What do you think she liked about him? Um, that... Um, Actually, hang on, forgot, there's one more page. <laughs> Nathan always had a good time. Okay, there you go. So what did she like about Nathan? That Nathan was very active and very, it, he was very active and just wanted to play a lot. But like William, he just wanted to sit around stay inside and wasn't that active all he did was just build models and watch tv shows do you think uh nathan so if he's active a lot maybe let's try this he always had a good time he always had a good time no matter where he was do you think william had a good time uh yeah yeah because all he got to do was build his models and watch his favorite TV shows. So he also had a good time, but in a different way. Yeah, in a different way as Nathan did. Do you think Hannah had a good time with William? 
No, because she really wanted to ride bikes just like Nathan did. So she missed Nathan because she didn't want to, like, she got sick of William. And, well, not, she got annoyed of William. Yeah. And just, like, uh, I'm a little bored. Like, I just want to go, like, ride bikes or yeah. something. And Nathan loved doing that. So she missed him. She missed me. All right. So now we're gonna write the end. End. What is one word you can use to describe the end of the book? Um. Missing Nathan. Missing Nathan. Or yeah, that works. But if she's also here with Nathan. So like. Is she missing him anymore? If she's with him. She's. With Nathan. With Nathan. Okay. okay. These are things to help you remember for the writing part. Okay. Train. Spoil. Sp Point. Listen to it. Point. What does it sound like? Rain? Oil? What's the point? Boiling. Rained. Good. So we have rain, train, stain, rained, man, oil, spoil, point, boiling. Good. Good. All right. For our last part, we're going to do the writing from the story. So I had you write words for the beginning, middle, middle and end. end. So you can use the words that you wrote down, mm -hmm. and I want you to write in about five sentences mm -hmm. what happened at the beginning, the middle, middle and the end, end of the story. Okay. Okay? Okay. Can I start? Mm-hmm. You can use the words that you wrote down to help you if you want. And you can use the book. 